Hey there, I am recording this video from Lake Tahoe. You can see the Lake Tahoe because I am recording from both the cameras. And today I am going to tell you that this Lake Tahoe has something to do with TCP, the transmission control protocol, as well as the reliable internet communication. But before that, let me show you that this is a lake, not sea. But can you see the waves? The waves are very similar to the sea and I hope that you can hear some waves noise in the background. So while I am recording this video, I do hope that the audio comes clearer because this is a very important topic. Now approximately 15 years back, I worked with TCP. I was in charge of creating a fast TCP IP stack. And since I was in charge of that TCP IP stack, I came to realize lots of things about TCP stack, how it works. So TCP is the transmission control protocol. Transmission control protocol means it's a reliable communication, but it doesn't ends there. Based on the network speed, based on the availability of network, it has to adopt. So if the network is available, it has to uh, upload faster, download faster and vice versa. And I'm damn sure that all of us must have seen things like when we are downloading sometimes the speed is high sometimes the speed is low it's all about adaptability and one of that adaptability algorithm is called tcp tahoe yes you heard it right one of the adaptability algorithm is called tcp tahoe so before i go ahead and talk about specific TCP algorithms. Let me show you the panoramic view of Lake Tahoe. This is really mesmerizing guys. This is amazing. So you can see the panoramic view of Lake Tahoe. You might also be wondering that why nobody is here. This is because I'm staying in a property. This is a private property and this is private pyre. And that's why on a Sunday afternoon, nobody is here and it's all belongs to me. So I can talk here peacefully and quietly. Now let me switch off the back camera and I will talk to you one to one about TCP algorithms. But guys, if you are coming to this place, nearby this place, the water is clean. And let me tell you that Mark Twain, the famous writer has said that if you want to breathe the air angels uh, used to breathe, you need to come to Lake Tahoe. And if somebody like Mark Twain is making such a statement, there has to be some meaning to it. Okay, so let me go there. I'll sit there and talk to you about TCP algorithm and how Tahoe comes into picture. So by the time I go there and start talking about TCP algorithm, you see how the roads were to the Tahoe. San Francisco going to Lake Tahoe approximately four hour drive I got my car from the rental car area in San Francisco airport plane is taking off guys and if you are wondering which car I got this is my car okay it's a relatively new car, approximately 7,000 miles, so I decided to pick this one and now I'm gonna go ahead. It's 9.30 a.m. By the time I'll get out of San Francisco, it will be around 10. So hopefully I should reach Lake Tahoe by 1.32.
yeah i know the journey was as beautiful as the destination itself so let's come back and talk about tcp transmission control protocol tcp started with what we call it as slow start how it works when you start communicating uh, with other entity tcp used to start with the slowest possible way and then it used to increase the speed till the time it gets a packet drop and as soon as it gets the packet drop it goes back or reduces the speed by the half or some other value in different different tcp stacks so no matter what is your internet bandwidth it will take some time to utilize that bandwidth and later on multiple algorithms started getting their way into tcp stack one of the algorithm was tcp tahu another was tcp reno reno is also a place not far from this place and when i worked in this particular algorithm i did some major tweaks to adapt uh, network bandwidth uh, based on 3g networks at that point of time i didn't give any name to that particular algorithm i should have given some name right uh, tcp maybe bengaluru well if i get a chance to work on it again i will do that because when i worked on these algorithms i know about tahu and reno but i never thought that tahu and reno is the name of a place after some time i came to know about tahu and reno being the place and at that point of time i knew that the place must be mesmerizing because somebody is putting the name of the algorithm in the name of a place then that place should be good and over a period of time uh, all tcp stacks have evolved a lot today all the tcp communications are a combination of multiple algorithms multiple techniques and multiple way of addressing the network parameters understanding it and you know adapting to it so network protocols always remember you know all network protocols has to adapt to network condition if you want to transfer data in a reliable way now video communication traditionally was not reliable so if you are listening to this audio or seeing this particular video some packet drops here and there human eyes and ears are not susceptible to perceive it but when you are transferring a file let's say you know one zip file a single byte here and there will corrupt that zip file so reliable tcp communicate hello you want to see the guest came it hello made a hero entry this guy you know i i was scared that what came behind me uh where was i so i was talking about you know non reliable and reliable communication so all algorithms needs to be adaptive there is no way you can have a rigid algorithm in today's world because why can you answer while you are thinking about it let me walk you have to answer why okay because network speed network parameters are changing day by day even within a single day within a single minute even within your home all the network speed and network parameters are changed almost all the time and if you want to give a good service a better service then yes you have to make sure that you adapt now there is a bigger learning from this particular tcp algorithm or adaptive algorithm all algorithms no matter what algorithm you write needs to be adaptive why i will talk about that in this trip in some other video okay so guys once again enjoy the beauty of this mesmerizing lake taho and thank you all thanks for watching we will definitely meet again in this journey on some other topic till the next time we meet good day goodbye you take care